What's up guys, this is Mark, man, Sacramento Real Estate. We are here with Steve, Takersley Construction. We're in a custom home in Grand Bay, California, and we're gonna give you the skinny, the real scoop on what it costs, the achy, breaky hearts that come with the whole idea of building a custom home. Right, Steve? All the good, the bad, and the ugly. Let's get going. Hey, Steve Tankersley with Tankersley Construction here. We're in Granite Bay, California. We have a new home we're building right behind me. Uh, we're the general contractor on this project. Love to show you around this project and hopefully answer some questions about what these projects cost, how long they take, and what you can expect during that timeline. So we're at the front of the house and some of the things you notice is, first of all, the roof line is really pretty impressive. We have a lot of different roof elevations on here, really steep pitches, we have flat roofs, we have less sloped roofs, bump outs, and a little curve over the entry, which is a nice, cool, unique detail. This is, this is a beautiful house. How many square feet are we talking? So the interior living space is about 6,800 square feet, but over roof, which is your garages and your covered patios, we're around 8,000 feet. Okay, and how long, I mean, for a custom home, let's say someone comes to you like from the Bay Area and they're saying, I want a custom home, I want to find a piece of land with Mark's team. What are we talking about as far as like time frame? Yeah, I mean, the first thing you want to do is, is get your contractor involved early and your realtor kind of at the same time. So a contractor can help you identify like if this lot is going to be good to build on as far as a cost perspective goes. Hey, or do we have issues with utilities or um, existing conditions like rock? But that first initial time frame from selecting a lot and starting design to permit re issuance, you know, we're looking at possibly about a year. Um, and that really depends on the, the jurisdiction we're in and also how fast a client can make decisions and where, we're, you know, how far we can move along in that process. Okay, so as far as after that goes, as far as construction, there's probably certain things like weather that you see, so you can't really guarantee, hey, it's gonna be ready now. It's, it's the elements are, are a big part of the build as well too, correct? Well, yeah, you know, to a certain extent. Okay. We, as Tanker City Construction, have a really detailed pre-construction process and we dive into uh, just the schedule, bringing everyone in, what, what can we anticipate for weather based on historical averages. This year, we've had some crazy weather events that have kind of just thrown us for a loop. But a good contractor can foresee a lot of that and what to expect and give you an accurate schedule and timeline. But you know, also a good contractor too can help find ways to accelerate the project and maybe rearrange some activities to make up some of those scheduled delays. This is pretty nice, man. Yeah, we're actually, we're actually in the music room. The owners are, all their kids are into music, uh, music and the, uh, so is the owners. Um, so we have the high ceilings in here. Lots of natural light, tons of windows, fireplace. Uh, there's going to be a little library area here, rolling ladder and some books. Um, so if you can picture all kinds of musical instruments being played in here, good acoustics. Um, this is really one of the first things you see when you come into the house. When you build custom, of course, like, you're not gonna go low end because it's like custom, it's like your dream home. So as far as in Sacramento, as far as construction goes, as far as like, what is the cost per square foot we're looking at for building? Yeah, I get, I get that question a lot. And yeah. it's like, you go to the car dealership, you're like, hey, what's the cost per pound of you know, a car? Like nobody ever asked that in the other industry. I'm happy to share that kind of where we're at averages. There's always a starting at price. Okay. Um, you know, something like this, you're kind of in that $400 a square foot plus. Okay. But you really got to keep in mind, like that doesn't include your land costs, it doesn't include your landscaping, doesn't include your permit fees. So when you start adding it all up, it can go well beyond that four hundred dollars a square foot. A lot of the custom homes I see being built, like in Grand Bay and Serrano and like you know Whitney Oaks, sometimes like why is it important to pick a good area as far as building your custom home? Yeah, I mean, we could, you could build a custom home in any neighborhood. You know, you see it throughout Sacramento. Um, when you're doing a really detailed custom house, you obviously want those comps to make some sense. Right? right, you're not going to build, uh, you know, four or five hundred dollars square foot house from somewhere that the house is the, the nicest ones or two hundred dollars a square foot. Okay. You know, it doesn't always make sense. But you know, when we're in Granite Bay, you know, it is an affluent community and it tends to support those types of homes. Okay, so as far as lots in the Sacramento area that you've seen, a lot of people like, let's say your last five or six clients, like what what areas have they been selecting as far as people like to know what areas to kind of like Zillow it. <laughs> 
This was actually a unique circumstance on this lot. There used to be a house here and it was torn down. It was built in the 70s. They tore it down a couple of years ago. So this all of a sudden became a vacant lot. That was an opportunity. One of the challenges in Sacramento, it's really important to work with that good agent is there's not a, a huge abundance of lots anymore. A lot of this was built up in the 90s and 2000s where the lots that are left, a lot of them are left for a reason. They're extremely hard to build on or expensive to build on. Um, but we're tending to see a lot of custom homes, you know, Catavadera, we have Whitney Oaks, um, uh, Granite Bay, Serrano, you mentioned. There's a lot of these developments and some of these developments are opening up new tracts of land and, and more opportunities for, for land development. Okay, I'm gonna throw you a curveball here, but it's a good curveball. Like I look at Los Lagos as being probably one of the harder spots to build in because of those rocks. Yeah. Is it, am I right on the money as far as that goes? Yeah, you are. We actually had a client come to us and it had a lot in Los Lagos. Um, it was one of the last lots there. It was extremely hilly with its huge boulder outcroppings. Absolutely beautiful lot, these boulder outcroppings were incredible. They wanted to include that in their uh, design. They already had an architect. They went down that road uh, over a year of design, came to us and we said, we gave them some realistic numbers and it didn't pencil out from them. That particular lot required almost half a million dollars in development. So site access, fire road, potential blasting to get that rock through. Um, if we had been brought on early in that job, maybe they wouldn't have bought that lot. The client, unfortunately, they actually sold the lot and decided to go buy a house that was existing. Okay. All right, what's up guys? Thanks for joining us again, Custom Homes. <laughs> That's crazy, so much, so, so much things associated with a custom home that people need to know about, you know what I mean? Thanks Steve for taking the time, having me out here, this is awesome. Yeah, thanks for coming out. I'd love to show what we do, our craft, our people that go behind these projects, and just talking about what really goes into these builds. All right guys, four things that you need to do. Number one, like the channel and the video, subscribe, call our team if you're looking for Sacramento real estate. And reach out to Steve if you're thinking about a custom home. He's the man, the myth, the legend. We're out of here. Thanks, Mark.